board. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, let me also, before I forget, spotlight. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, let's get started. Perfect timing. Someone else is joining. <clears throat> Great. Oh, let's keep doing. So grab a pillow if you have one. I think you know what to do now. <laughs> you can use it however you want. I thought it was much colder, but it's not. Okay. It's been a wonderful few days with the weather. We must all be really enjoying that. But we saw that the rest of the week is not going to be so nice, apparently. But I'll believe it when I see it. So, yeah. Hoping summer is around the corner. All righty. Well, let's begin. Let me just take off rings. So just come into a comfortable pose. Place your hands just on your knees. Elongate your spine, sitting up straight. Then roll your shoulders to the front a couple of times from back to front. And then go the other way from front to back. And then lift them up, bring them back. Then tuck your chin down a little bit. Turn over your hands, connecting the index finger and the thumb. And just close your eyes. And just sit in silence for a few breaths. Bring your awareness inside to how you're feeling, to the sensations within your body. And just observe what's happening. Have a look at your breath. Is it easy to breathe? Or is it a little challenging when we focus on our breath? It's really hard to continue breathing the same way. But try not to change it. And then we're going to slowly bring our right thumb up to block our right nostril. And inhale and exhale through the left nostril. Letting the breath become longer and deeper. A longer inhale and a longer exhale through the left side. And just observe if this side is easy to breathe through or not. It could be that the other nostril is easier to breathe through. This just tells us which nostril is more active and whether it's the sun energy or the moon energy. The left is the moon, which is more of the calmness, feeling relaxed. 
And then let's inhale. Exhale. And slowly release the hand back down. And breathe normally through both nostrils. And then we're gonna bring up our left thumb, our left hand, lock our left nostril. Take long deep breaths in and out through the right side. Long inhale and long exhale. The right side is that sun energy the one where we feel more energized. By doing these breathing exercises, we're trying to balance the sun and the moon energy so that we can go deeper into our yoga practice today. Feeling more relaxed and balanced. Let's inhale. Exhale. And slowly release your hand back down. And breathe normally. We'll do one final uh, breathing exercise. So we're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So we're gonna bring up the right hand, block our right thumb, uh, block our right nostril, inhale through the left. And then with our ring finger, we're going to block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Block left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Block right. Exhale left. In left. Out right. In right, out left. In left, out right. In right, out left. In left. Out right and slowly release your hand back down and breathe normally. All right, let's start moving a little bit. So let's come out of the pose, stretch our legs, give them a little shake. Today our focus is going to be on um, releasing, like releasing tension in our back. So a lot of uh, back stretches and working on releasing that back. We hold a lot of tension and stress in our backs as well. So we're also gonna work our hips since it's uh, connected as well. <clears throat> So the first thing we're gonna do, we're, we'll start on our backs. Let's lay down first. Coming onto our back. And 
and then bring the feet flat onto the ground. And bring them to your chest. So bring the knees to your chest. You can either keep your knees together, wrap your arms around your knees, or open up the knees and pull the knees closer to the chest. So whichever feels good for you. If you want to get even more of a stretch, you can lift up the head. Whichever you find comfortable. And we're just going to hold it here. Taking long, deep breaths. Trying not to move. Just about one more minute. Just observe if you find sitting in silence, holding a posture difficult, or if it's easy. Observe what kind of thoughts come up. Are you feeling restless? Just have a think about how you feel holding these postures. And last one, inhale. Exhale, slowly release the feet or release the knees bringing the feet back on the ground, just letting your body relax on the mat. And then we're gonna roll onto the side whichever side feels good for you, and push yourself up. And today we're gonna to do one standing posture. So make your way all the way to the top. You can only see half my body, <laughs> but I'll explain what we're doing. We're gonna keep the feet about hip width apart. <clears throat> so I'll show you from the side, so about hip width. And we'll inhale, bringing the arms up above your head. Exhale, we're bending down and just dropping down. You can bend your knees a little bit. You can either grab your elbows or let your hands just dangle down. And just let your head relax. We're just gonna hold this one. If you're feeling really tight, maybe you're up higher. Just take long, deep breaths. About one more minute to go.
then we're slowly, very gently going to come up. But just be aware that you might feel lightheaded when you come up. So go really slowly, bringing the head up last. So with your inhale, pushing yourself back up, bringing the head up last. Just being mindful, you can feel a little bit dizzy. Just take a couple of breaths, regulating yourself. And then you can give your legs a bit of a shake. And then since we're up here, we're just going to open up a little bit wider. And then we're going to squat down. So if you find squatting a little bit difficult, you can grab your pillow, sit on it, or place it under your knees. The next one is the squat. So you can choose whether you wrap your arms around the knees. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your elbows um, inside and either like come into a prayer or place your hands on the outside or wherever, just let them dangle down. And then we're just gonna drop the head if that feels good. Just really try to find a relaxing position, one that you can hold for a couple of minutes. About one more minute to go. And then slowly untangling, coming out of the pose, bringing up the head. You can place the hands behind you and come onto your bottom. And you can rock your feet or your knees from side to side. That feels good. Or you can hug your knees, whichever feels nice for you. I like rocking them from side to side, but maybe you like just hugging your knees. And then we're going to come into a tabletop, which means on our hands and our knees. There are about two fists in between the knees so that they're aligned with our hips. And hands are under the shoulders. So this is our starting point. Our back straight. And we're just going to do a couple of cat cows. So we're inhaling, looking up, dropping the belly. Exhaling, pushing away the floor, looking down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
And you can go at any pace that you want. If you feel if you feel like going faster or slower, go ahead and do that. But focus on going with the breath, inhaling, looking up, exhaling down. And the final one, inhale up, exhale down, inhale back to the center. You can shake a little bit from side to side, like you have a tail. And then we're coming back to the center. For the next one, we're going to lift up our right hand. So I'll show you with our right. First, so inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, bringing it under the left elbow or the left shoulder, oh, armpit, and dropping down or on, onto our right shoulder. You can either stay here and pushing into the ground with your left hand or bring your left hand behind your back. You can even hold on to your um, right thigh if you want to. Focus on um, twisting that spine and the stretch in your shoulder or your shoulders. About one more minute to go. And then slowly bringing your left arm back if it's behind you onto the mat. And then pushing up, bringing your right arm back as well. And then pushing your bum back, extending your arms in front of you and just relaxing down into a child's pose. You can also extend the arms beside the body if that feels better for you. And bring your hands under the shoulders again. 
Inhale, pushing yourself up and coming back into that tabletop. I'm just gonna turn into the tabletop again. And this time we're gonna do the other side. So we're going to use our left hand first. So inhale, bringing left up. Exhale, bringing it under the right armpit, bringing the shoulder on the ground. And you can choose if you're staying here or bringing your right arm behind your back. Focusing on opening those shoulders and twist, twisting that spine, the upper part of the spine. And just relax here. About one more minute to go. And then slowly we're going to untangle, bringing the right hand back on the ground, pushing yourself up, and then again pushing yourself back into that child's pose. This time we're going to hold the child's, child's pose for much longer. So find a comfortable spot, either with your arms extended in front of you or beside your body. Your knees can be together or separated. Now we're gonna bring our hands under the shoulders again. Inhale, push yourself back up. And then we're gonna make our way onto our back. Take a little rest here.
And we're gonna bring our hands into like a cactus hold. This is like we're making a U with our arms. You're just bringing them. Let me show you they're up like this. <laughs> Easier if I just show you. <laughs> we're bringing the knees up. Actually, let's bring our feet to the ground first. Lift our bum, bring our bum to the right. And then lift the knees and bring the knees down to the left. And then you can choose to stay here or extend your legs for a deeper stretch, or you could even um, move the top leg more towards your hand. And you can look to the right side. And just stay here. And slowly, we're going to bring our knees back up to the center and wrap your arms around the knees, and pulling the knees towards your chest. And we're gonna bring the feet back on the ground. Lift our bum, move it to the left. Bring our knees up again and drop them down to the right. Remember to bring your arms into the cactus as well. And you can look to the left side. You can extend your legs or keep them at a 90 degree angle, whichever feels good for you.
and slowly bring your knees back up. Wrap your arms around your knees. And just stay here. And we'll do one final exercise. You're gonna come into a happy baby. So just bring your feet up, opening up the knees wide and grab your feet. You can choose to grab them from the inside or from the outside. And just hold it here. You'll feel a stretch in your hips as well. If at some point the stretch is too much, you can also release your feet and hold on to the ankles. And then slowly let your feet go, bring them down, bringing your knees together and giving yourself one final hug. And then extending both legs onto the mat. Letting your feet just dangle to the sides, your hands on the mat as well. Also letting them drop. The palms are facing up. Close your eyes. For the next couple of minutes, try to stay with your body and the sensations within. Try not to think about later or what time it is what's happening on your phone, stay within.
slowly come back to your body. Start to move your toes and your fingers. You can stretch your arms above your head and stretch your toes. If you want to, you can also just keep laying down. And skip the stretching. You can bring your knees to your chest again and then drop them to one side. Stretching that spine again. Then you can do the same on the other side. And then coming back up, you can spend some time stretching other parts that you feel like still need a bit more attention. Or you can already, put, already push yourself up or keep laying down. And then when you're ready, you can roll on your spine or push yourself back up into a seated posture. Grabbing your pillow if you want to. And then coming back into that easy pose. Lengthening the spine, rolling the shoulders up and back, turning over the hands, connecting the index finger and the thumb, tucking the chin down a little bit. Just focus on your body and your breath again. Going back to the, the sensations within. And observing how you're feeling now. Observing whether there's a shift in energy or whether you're feeling the same. And slowly bring your hands together, rub them together, and placing them over the eyes. If it feels good, you can open the eyes behind your hands. And then close them again, rubbing the hands together again. Placing them on your chest, trying to feel that heart beating. And rubbing them together again. Placing them on your abdomen. And 
final one, rub them together. Place them in front of our heart center. And we'll end the class today with one sat nam, a long sat and a short nam. Truth is my name, my identity. Inhale, exhale, inhale to chant. Nam. Inhale, exhale, sat nam. Love upon you, light upon you. Thanks a lot for joining me this evening. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or, yeah, you know. You know what to do. <laughs> but thanks a lot for joining. Stopping the recording.